morning, everyone, and hello, and welcome to the grand opening of the Woodbridge, New Jersey, Tuv Sud America's corporate office. This is where everybody applauds. All right, it's a big event. So we have a lot of guests here today, a lot of friends, a lot of customers, uh, dignitaries, representatives of the town. This has been, today is the culmination of about 18 months of effort uh, of a lot of people uh, that have gotten us here today. We're all very happy and fortunate to be getting through COVID, still being able to be working for a great employer and still being able to enjoy a great day like today in a new setting, great workspace. And I hope you all get the uh, opportunity to take advantage of that and see the space today. Um, just a little overview of what we have here today. We have about a 9,500 square foot space in a class A office building. Um, significantly better than the building that we were in previously. Um, we house technical, administrative, and executive staff here. About 50 people will be working out of here on a full-time basis, supporting 2,500 employees all over the Americas. So, small footprint, but very important and very, um, very important status for our company for Tuvsu. I'd like to uh, welcome some of the people that are here today without getting hit. Um, first of all, I'd like to introduce our executive team that's here today. We have Ishan Pallet, Chief Operating Officer, representing the Board of Management. We have John Tesoro, the CEO of the Americas Region of Two of Sud America. Fabian Schober from, uh, from Two of Sud America, the Chief Financial Officer. Jobina Consalves, Vice President and Human Resource Director. We have our own Jim Marsh, CEO of GRC. Um, to see. We have a newcomer, Peter Lin, Vice President of the Risk Engineering Services Group. Welcome, Peter. We have Jasmine Martyr Osian, the Vice President of the Marketing Group. Thank you for being here. We have our um, previous GRC person that we're always glad to see, our own Greg Bates, director of the BA Group. Mario, Mario Harple, the global operations representative on the GRC side. On the sales side in the BD Group, we have David Ricks and Jeremy Fripp. We're very lucky to be joined by a couple of clients today. Um, Siemens is one of our most influential clients that we have here um, out of this space and in Tuvsud uh, globally. Um, representing Siemens, we have David Balter here today. Thank you for taking some time today. Uh, we have our dignitaries. Um, we realize that we cannot um, have a presence in our community without having a close tie to uh, the elected officials and the representatives from the town. So it's a pleasure to, to um, let all of you know that the mayor took his time out of his day today. So we have Mayor John McCormick from Woodbridge Township here today. I <clears throat> uh, want to recognize Karen Barnes, the executive director of the Woodbridge Chamber of Commerce. She is not here today, but uh, we're obviously going to be working very closely with her to have a presence here in the Woodbridge area. Uh, we have Sharon McAuliffe, the first ward councilwoman, who's here as well. Thank you very much. And we have some guests that really help us put this whole thing together. Like I said, it was an 18 month journey. We had some professionals, we had some representatives from Atlantic Realty and we could not have gotten here if it wasn't for them. So representing Collier's Real Estate, we have Michael Tesser. And from Atlantic Realty, I think I saw Jeremy Shaw was here, Susan Mirami is here and Jonathan Terry, who I've been calling probably 20 times a day, who's sick of hearing from me. Thank you very much for being here. So I just want to give a very brief overview of what it took for us to get into this space. Um, it took a lot of planning, organizing, um, maybe even a little bit of light spirit, competitive nature following in the steps of the Wakefield office. Um, we're, the, we're the small brother when it comes to Wakefield. We have a better baseball team than you guys do, so it's okay that we're going to take a back seat to this, to this year. So, um, we, well, we're, all one big, we're all one big happy family. 
Um, so I want to make sure that I recognize some of the people that were really responsible for us um, being in this great space today. So it really starts with Ishan, John, and Fabian. Um, I remember the day when we came here right before we signed the lease and you gave us the go ahead and uh, that, that was really the day that changed everything and really set everything in motion and to get the type of corporate support to um, allow us to go into this great space, it is very much appreciated by all of us. We could not do that without you. Um, thank you, absolutely. Yeah. I got a lot of direction from Jim and Mario um, as far as picking out the location, what it should look like, what we needed to do to make our people comfortable in the space. So thank you very much for all of, the, all of that direction. Um, my partner in all this was Eric Cohen. Um, again, another person who's probably really sick of talking to me 20, 20 times a day. Um, commercial real estate on the tube stood side um, really put all the pieces together with the construction, the layout, and the vendors, and um, very instrumental in everything. Um, I relied on Eric Azenovich quite a bit to make sure that everything was going to look really great, uh, make it look as much as possible to Wakefield, and um, really put all those pieces together. So Eric is on maternity leave. Any updates? Is she nothing yet? She's not due to have her baby yet? No news yet. No news yet. Okay, so best of luck to Erica. Um, we had a bunch of people that were working um, 12 hours a day, five days a week when the final rollout came. So the IT people, um, John, Tim, and Chris, thank you so much for all the efforts you put in. And, uh, and like any project, you have to have a really strong team that really is your go-to people. So Alina, Carolyn, and uh, Carla, thank you for everything you did today and in the past couple of weeks. And uh, the last and the most important group is all of the new Woodbridge employees. Um, listen, I get it, return to work, COVID, working on temporary tables in a place that was sort of under construction. Um, I asked you to come in and do it, and you did, and I thank you all very much for that. I hope you enjoy the results of it, um, but we could not do this if it wasn't for each one of you. So thank you all very much for putting in the effort to be here. So with that, I'm going to turn the program over to the Honorable Mayor John McCormick from the Township of Woodbridge. Thank you very much. If there's anybody that Bill did not introduce personally, please raise your hand and I'll acknowledge you. Uh, what's your name? He forgot, he forgot one person. What's your name? Nicole. Let's hear from Nicole. I don't know why he missed you, Nicole, but I took care of it. Um, I want to welcome everybody here. This is a great um, step for Woodbridge Township. I'll give you a quick commercial of what's going on, but uh, we have a whole revitalization of Main Street going on uh, up and down. Uh, right next to you, right across the street from you here, or actually right next to you here, is the Woodbridge Community Center. That was opened in the year 2002. It's a wonderful place. It's kind of like a... Um, a public golf course compared to the club at Woodbridge across the street, which is like a country club. We own both. We built the Woodbridge Community Center. It was a private company way back in 1999 that won the bid to build it. I was the town CFO way back then, so I was running the project. And uh, they came in and they started, then they went bankrupt, so we took it over. They were going to put two ice rinks and a whole giant arcade everywhere else. We took it over, kept it to one ice rink, a roller rink. It's got a pool. It's got a gym. It's got a billiards room, a track, indoor cardio, weights, you name it, outdoors. There's a miniature golf course and batting cages. If you haven't been there, go there. It's terrific. Uh, back in 2018, the club at Woodbridge was up for sale, so we bought that. That has racquetball, badminton, the same thing, cardio and weights, basketball, a track. Uh, we turned the tennis courts into an ice rink. So now we have two ice rinks, which is terrific for downtown because that's what you need to attract tournaments from up and down from Massachusetts to Virginia. Our hotels are going to love it. Our restaurants are going to love it. Uh, it's just terrific for the town. Right across, let me, where am I now? Right down the street to the right, you'll see new apartments. It's the Vermilla Project by Russo Development. Very, very reputable company. If you've got to see that place, you will never believe you're in Woodbridge Township when you go in their amenities building. It is stunningly beautiful. Uh, they're about to sign uh, Angelina's Kitchen, which if you're familiar with Staten Island, there's Angelina's, which is a very upscale uh, restaurant there right on the water. Her son has a place over there called Angelina's Kitchen, which is an upscale, casual family restaurant where they agreed to open up their second location right here in Woodbridge on that site. It's terrific for us. We also downtown have a whole lot of stuff going on. 
uh, the old bank building, the 106 Main Street. We bought it to protect it from being sold, uh, frankly, to a nursing school. Nothing against nurses, um, but they come to work at, at school at 8.30, they bag their lunch, they go home at 4.30 and doesn't do much for downtown. So we have that now becoming Strickland Steakhouse. Uh, Mike Strickland is a local guy and he owns uh, West Shore Inn in Staten Island and he also owns the Fig and the Vine in Staten Island. He is going to open up his third restaurant right here in Woodbridge Township. We've already had a Thai place open. We've had an ice cream place open. We've got a buyer from one of the other restaurants and bars on the on the strip of Main Street, and that's going to turn that place completely around. Uh, Sharon behind me here is the owner of Not Just Bagels, which closed down a little before COVID started, and she's in the process of reopening that on Main Street. So there's a whole lot of great things happening in this town. And to see 50 people... Um, uh, with I'm assuming higher incomes than average um, many of you have really nice suits on and nice uh, nice outfits so uh, to have 50 people come here to downtown right in the middle of everything we're doing is terrific and the best thing about it is we didn't do anything to get you here you kind of came all by yourself which means you recognized what's going on in Woodbridge the fact that we stole you from a next-door neighbor is even better um, Clark to Woodbridge is always a good move um, so this is this is wonderful for us. It's right in our wheelhouse, and I just want to say congratulations to everybody and thank you. And if you ever need anything, I'm the mayor here. Even if you don't live, anybody live in Woodbridge? I don't know. Where about? Uh, Avenel. Avenel, where, how about you? Bologna. Nice. That's where I live. Well, problems there now, but we're dealing with them. No, we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. So uh, this is just terrific for us. We want to thank the company for coming here and wish you all the success in the world. I want to introduce uh, Kelly, who's our uh, intern, soon to be full-time when she graduates from college. Megan is our assistant communications director. Emil behind the camera works for TV35. We have a lot of great things to offer here. If you need to know anything, don't worry about emailing me, texting me. Uh, Facebook and me I don't even know how I get all the stuff I get but there's all kinds of different ways to get a hold of us uh, we're happy to explain anything and if you need anything here I'm trusting that you had a good experience with our building department and all the permits and all that because I didn't hear anything so that means it must have gone well because if it, did, it didn't go well uh, Bill or, or somebody else would have called me up and say hey what's going on here so thank you all very much I'll save the proclamation till we're done with the speeches and we can take some pictures now I'd like to introduce to you the uh, first ward councilwoman uh, we had a rough time in Woodbridge last year. Uh, Nancy Drum, who was our councilwoman, it was she just won in November her third term, and she passed away January 2nd. Uh, Sharon McAuliffe was her best friend. Uh, during the nine months when Nancy was sick, Sharon was her eyes and ears driving around, visiting sites, talking to people, checking things out, and helping Nancy do things until she finally succumbed uh, to cancer in, in early January. So she was the natural choice to be the replacement for Nancy, so we appointed her politically through the process we had to go through. I'm pretty confident that I can say Sharon McAuliffe will be reelected in November to the remaining three year terms, or three years of Nancy Drum's term. Uh, but she has hit the ground running and is doing a phenomenal job. She'll be talking to you, she'll be your messenger, she'll be your, your, your advocate, uh, and she'll do everything, everything she can to help you with whatever you need. And if she doesn't, she'll work with me in my office and we'll take care of it. So, ladies and gentlemen, Sharon McAuliffe. I'd like to welcome you to Woodbridge. Thank you to the mayor and to Bill and James. Right? Jim? Bill and Jim? James. Um, we want to wish you all the best here. And like the mayor said, that if there's anything that you need, you can contact me I, uh, through the town. The information's on the website. And uh, there's a lot of great things, like the mayor said. Downtown Woodbridge is really close. You could just take a drive down the street. There's a lot of nice eateries. And a lot of activities going on in Woodbridge that you can do after work or bring your families here on the weekends. So just go on to our newly designed website and you can get a lot more information about Woodbridge. Good luck and I wish you all the best. Thank you, every, thank you so much for being here today. We really appreciate it. Uh, at this time I want to introduce Jim Marsh, our CEO, for a few words. Thanks, Bill. And thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a head cold. I, can, I can't get COVID, but I can get a head cold, right? So, uh, yeah, thank you for allowing us to join your uh, business community. What I've learned in the short time we've been down here is there's so much going on and so much activity. And 
We stumbled on Main Street last night when we went to JJ. Yeah, yeah, to the brew pub, JJ's. And you're going to be very close to that, right? And uh, we didn't even know that was Main Street. I just, uh, we were just shuttling from one place to another and everything because we had a great experience. But uh, it was certainly a long journey in uh, selecting the right location for our new office. Um, went through a lot of challenges in uh, really getting the right layout, the right place, the right thought. And then in the very last day, all of a sudden, Michael? Here, Michael, right? No? Michael's upstairs. The, uh, it's Michael, right? Call it? What's that? Michael? Michael, Michael Tessa. Yeah. Yep. The very last day, we end up with this one more location added to the uh, viewing. I'm like, okay, let's go look at it. And uh, here we are. And we walked into it, and we're like, we love this place. <laughs> it was really, really good. And uh, the build out was great, everything is great. And uh, now here we are, and I have to say, knock on wood, and Eric, and you know, thank you as well, it ends up looking better than we expected. So everybody in general was telling me how great it was to be next to Wegmans. Yeah. For me, it wasn't, I was like, okay, you know, but it's a draw. But yeah, there's so much going on and we're so happy to be here. Um, we certainly look very forward to a long-term partnership with yourselves, as well as the building management, because the building is in phenomenal shape and we really love that. Uh, certainly in our journey to uh, grow both business and staff, so to uh, add to our footprint here. Um, with that, we've dissected the names that Bill covered completely. So uh, anything, I really like David Balter, Siemens Energy. Thanks for being here. Rich O'Connor, I'm not sure Rich was able to join us today because I didn't see him, but Rich was to join us and may pop in. Uh, Michael Tesser from Collier's Real Estate. Clifford uh, Breckner, College of Real Estate. Jeremy Shaw, see my voice is going right, Atlantic Realty. Susan Mirmi, did I do that right? No. Okay, how is it pronounced? My Army. My Army, I'm sorry. <laughs> Atlantic Realty and uh, Jonathan Terry, Atlantic Realty. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and with that, I'd like to turn it over to John Tesoro, President and CEO of uh, Tove America. Jim. Thank you, Jim. Um, it's great to be here today. It's good to see the uh, the uh, the rain uh, shift away from us and uh, the sun finally shine. Uh, uh, I again extend my welcome to everybody here. I won't go through a full list, but uh, Mayor McCormick, um, yes, we did stumble on on uh, on Woodbridge, and and we're certainly glad we're here. But you may not be fully informed on some of the concessions that your team did make to our team. Uh, and in fact, uh, the whole team you see here was granted uh, full membership to the Woodbridge Country Club um, <laughs> and so forth. So we want to thank you for that. Uh, it expires at 4 o'clock, though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to check the fine print. No, but thank you for being here with us today. I appreciate that. Um, but, um, and again, um, we could thank many and, and uh, you know, before me, Bill and, and Jim uh, did that. Uh, and, and, you know, but I really want to orient our comments, uh, my comments to the team that made this happen. At Tubsit America, one of our core principles is team-based success. Our customers expect, um, you know, much from us um, and society does as well. As our, our purpose is to provide safety and sustainability services that make the world a safer place. And there's no better purpose than that. And um, you know we take the high expectations from both our customers and society very, very seriously. But we can't get there without the team that is here. And um, you know, in many ways, while this is a grand opening of a new office that we're very proud of, and in many ways it's symbolic of a back-to-work period after a dark cloud of COVID and so forth. But this team um, has always been at work, right? Our inspectors have been on site day in and day out. Mario knows this, uh, Jim knows this, all of you know that. And uh, you know they need the support to make that happen. And so while we now have a great gathering place to meet those high expectations, to work as a team, um, uh, we have always been at work for our customers and for society. And that's, that's just, a, I think, a very strong place. But in order to make that happen, we do have to meet and, uh, and plan and work because team-based success is how we can meet those higher expectations that our customers have for us. And so I just wanna take a moment to thank you all as our, our team of experts, 
our team of dedicated associates who come in day in and day out and make that happen. Without you, none of this would be possible. And I hope that you make this new home here uh, in Woodbridge, um, you know, a place where you can have higher engagement, higher enjoyment, and a more fulfilling experience here at Tubsud America. So with that, I'm very pleased to announce uh, our next speaker, Ishan Pollitt, who is our COO and member of our Board of Management. Ishan. Hey, um, good morning, everyone. Mayor, Councilwoman, thank you for joining us today. Um, since everyone has been thanked, I'm just going to thank everyone again, and that'll be good. <laughs> but um, I, I, I think that special recognition has to be given to Bill and Eric, because I think they put all of this together. And um, without them, this would not have come out the way it did. Um, so that's really something else. But um, also, uh, Jim and his uh, management team, I think, uh, you know, you've built this uh, organization, you've continued to grow it, you've continued to uh, bring it to the level that it is today, and I think uh, that allows us to be able to make these investments and uh, continue to invest in places as well as people. So, you know, Mario and Jeremy and uh, David and now Peter, and I think all of you, have contributed to making this possible because you continue to have success in your business and you continue to do well and you continue to grow it. And I think uh, that's what makes uh, uh, us, uh, enables us to do this. Um, I know that there's a lot going on right now and um, all of you know about it. Um, we we're building, Wakefield was what has already happened. We're building a lab, a massive lab in uh, Detroit. We're building a massive lab in Minnesota. Uh, Greg has upgraded uh, uh, the Atlanta area with his presence, and now that's a, a bustling hub of activity. So there's a lot going on in the US, uh, in the Americas, and uh, John and Fabian and Jobina and uh, Jasmine, all of them are doing a, a very good job. I mean, this is for us, as an organization, a tremendously important region in the world. We continue to make a lot of investment here. We continue to want to grow it organically, inorganically. We want to invest in our people. We want to invest in our businesses. I'm very, very happy that we brand this office as Tifsud and uh, you know we, we, we build the business and move on now from uh, our GRC presence to adding the Tufsud risk consulting presence. I think that gives us advantages with many clients and uh, gives us uh, the ability. Yesterday we were talking about cybersecurity risks. Uh, gives us the ability to pull in different parts uh, of the organization to be able to serve our customers better uh, from uh, different risk perspectives. And I think that is uh, very important when we, when we go out. Um, to our customers. It's also really nice, the look and feel of the place. I love it. Uh, it's so consistent. So we built we built a massive, uh, I think, uh, 500,000 square foot uh, facility in Singapore. It looks just like this when you walk in. Uh, we built one in uh, uh, Munich, looks just like this. We're building one in Madrid, it'll look just like this. We're building one in uh, uh, Shanghai, it'll look just like this. So everywhere, it looks the same. You get to that Tufsud office and it's all the same. And John and his team make sure that our Wi-Fi works. Our, you know, the, we get on uh, to, to the same network. It's really great now that we are in this organization that has 27,000 people that has three billion dollars in sales and we are you know all of us are significant contributors to making all this happen and we can be really proud that we do good work you know safety sustainability you know our purpose is good we've got a good purpose we uh, do our jobs well we're professionals. I was an auditor uh, for many, many, many years before I became useless and became a manager. 
but uh, it's 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 an awesome place to work and i'm so glad that we're bringing it all together that we all have this feeling of camaraderie and a feeling of family and uh, i have to thank everybody uh, all everyone who works in this office as well as all the guys beyond for contributing and for uh, the exciting stuff that is going to come now uh, and uh, continues to have uh, so many opportunities for us as to have So thanks a lot. I, I'm really happy I could be here. Uh, I always like coming here. The beer was great last night. I mean, it was awesome. Uh, and it was brewed right there. So uh, thank you and uh, good luck in your new digs. Thanks. It's a great pleasure to present this proclamation to Tosu and welcome you to Woodbridge Township.